Hello, today we're going to be looking at the Camaro SS, um, also known as the Peacemaker. I guess it's some kind of cop or squat car. As you can see, it's heavily camouflaged and it's got a few quote-unquote gizmos on it, like a little gun or camera. We'll get a close-up of that later. Uh, the car is some kind of type of Chevy, um, as it says on the bottom. There's a, f a few phrases on the bottom that we'll try to analyze later. Uh, there's the wheel. Um, the wheels are pretty simple, just round, almost bubbly, with five little rivets. It's almost like a tunnel leading to the rivet. Here's the back, some lights, um, two lights with holes in them. Um, there's like a little window. I don't know if those little black bars on the gray windows are supposed to indicate smaller windows. I really don't know. Uh, this is a major part. Uh, the top... Uh, there's five lights on top. Um, it's broken, cracked, where three lights meet two lights. And I try to give a good indication of that um, from different ways. Um, so they're not connected. It shouldn't be a big deal, though. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, there's three stars. It says Peacemaker. Um, it says SS Camaro on the side, as you can see. It's a camouflage car, dark green, light green, and black. Um, and that's all re you really need to know about the top of the car. It's mainly the visible uh, exterior. Um, there's also little rivets beneath the stars. Oh, um, we're looking at the bottom now. As you can see, there's a lot going on. Um, there's the, the things that help the car run on the bottom. And right now I'm trying to show you on the camera what the car really says. Um, I'm trying to get a good view. Um, I'll read it to you later when we uh, get, get a closer look at the car using the macro lens. But what I can tell is that it says number 92304. Uh, I guess that's the car number. And then there's also some kind of code that says 1809279P on the bottom. There's also a little screw on the bottom. I guess you can unscrew the car if you need to fix it. Right now we're looking at how it runs, or not runs, but moves. Um, how it locomotivates. How, how would you say that? Loca, lo, how, how it just, you know, goes. So I let go. It goes pretty fine. If you keep your hand on the car, you'll notice it's slightly bumpy. Uh, I guess the wheels are ever so uneven. It also seems like it wants to turn right. If you, if you push it straight, it'll kind of go to the right a bit and curve, but that's not too much of a problem. It goes pretty fine. Um, we, we just, we're, right now we're examining the little, either, I don't know if it's a gun or a camera, but here's a closer look at it. We'll also get to the words on the bottom. Here's just a closer look at the camo. There's also a few headlights on the front of the car. Uh, two headlights on the front of the car and two little red dots beneath. You've got some screws beneath all of that. Uh, six, it appears. Here's a closer look at the wheel. Um, the rivets are deeper than it looks. It's almost like a tunnel. Um, there's the stars. Um, three stars on each side. And it says Peacemaker, of course. Obviously indicating that it's some kind of justice system. Uh, here's the back. The rear, the hood. I don't, I don't know any car terminology. I just have toy cars laying around, you know. Uh, the the letters are kind of faded. The K of Maker almost looks like an E. And yes, it's a Camaro SS. And on the bottom, uh, it does indicate that the car is a type of Chevy. There's the windows. And then here, I, I'm kind of indicating that it's broken again up close, so you can see a crisp and detailed picture of that. Uh, the Mac lens has a hard time focusing um, at times. Here's the back of the lights where they snapped. It's pretty much irrelevant now. Uh, we get the picture. All right, now we're analyzing the bottom. There's a hole there. Um, Trying to get the best angle, some boxes or whatever, two-dimensional. 
Alright, let's see. It apparently says www.jadatoys.com. Uh, let's see. Scale 164. Ah. I have a hard time reading that. Um, go ahead and just look in the description if you want to know what the car reads. Um, while I was commentating the video, I couldn't even read it. I need glasses, but... Or no, I'll just put in the video. I'll just have some words flash up at the bottom of the screen. I mean, by the time you're listening to this part now, it's probably already happened, but... You know what, you, you get the point. This black part's just irrelevant for you, because um, I fixed the problem. Um, anywho, yeah, that was the car. That's everything you, you need to see and know. Hopefully you like this analyzation and the car itself. Goodbye.